We all use dozens of tech products in our daily lives, but sometimes we can take the little things for granted and we just don't know how it works. So let's take a closer look. I'm Ben with Your Tech Explained. This is episode one of YTE, and this is how noise canceling headphones actually work. So first of all, what's the point of noise canceling headphones? Well, it's kind of right there in the name. Headphones that are marketed as noise cancelling are designed to remove the ambient noise from around you so that way you don't have to hear it over your music or if you just want to have silence even in a busy area. They come in handy especially in places like an open office, um, in a library, or even on an airplane. So how does it actually work? Well, that kind of depends on the type of technology they're using. There are two main types of noise cancellation, one of those being passive noise cancellation and the other being active noise cancellation. So first let's talk about the simpler of the two and that's passive noise cancellation. So passive noise cancellation is really really simple and that's because it's literally just the act of blocking out noise with a physical object. Generally speaking over the ear headphones or earbuds are going to be the most effective at doing this. And that's because passive noise cancellation is just blocking the sound from hitting your eardrums. So with earbuds, basically this comes down to how tight the seal is and how the earbuds are shaped. With over-the-ear headphones, it basically comes down to how effective the seal is. And that's why over-the-ear headphones are better at this because on-ear headphones don't create an actual seal. Now generally speaking, passive noise cancellation can work, but it's really nothing impressive or all that effective. So that's where active noise cancellation comes in and we'll spend a little bit more time talking about this. Now active noise cancellation is definitely the more expensive of the two as you're only going to find it on headphones that are at a higher price point, but it's way more effective for what you're paying. So active noise cancellation headphones do exactly what you'd expect. They actively remove the noise that is around you when you're listening to music or just wearing the headphones in general. So it accomplishes this by listening to the sounds around you through a microphone, processing that information, and then creating an opposing signal inside of the ear cup. Now this doesn't affect your music, but what it does is it effectively erases all the sounds around you. So technically speaking, they're still there, you just can't hear them over the opposing signal. That's why on a lot of pairs of headphones that have active noise cancellation, when you actually turn that feature on, you feel almost like a sort of pressure. Now how effective the active noise cancellation is, is going to depend on the pair of headphones you buy. My favorite example for this is the comparison of two pairs of active noise cancellation headphones that I have, the Bose QC35 and the Bohm B66. Now the Bose QC35 are just the best in the business when it comes to noise cancellation. And the main reason that they're so good is one, because Bose's software to do it is absolutely fantastic, but also because even without the active noise cancellation turned on, the passive noise cancellation on these headphones is fantastic. So by using a combination of the two, you effectively eliminate all of the noise around you. By comparison, the Bohm B66 are on-ear headphones, which means they're not creating a seal around your ear, and by effect, they're not as effective in removing the noise around you. So basically, if you're looking for removing all of the noise, you're definitely going to want to look for over-the-ear headphones like the Bose QC35. Now of course, with any pair of noise cancelling headphones, there are a couple of downsides. The first is, it's not going to block out everything. If you really need complete silence, no pair of headphones is going to be 100% effective. Generally speaking, active noise cancellation headphones can eliminate up to about 70% of the noise around you. You're still going to hear some little things, but for the most part, you won't hear much. The main thing that you're still going to hear is loud and quick noises. So that might be someone knocking at the door, uh, the dinging sound on an airplane, or just someone sitting there shouting behind you. Stuff like that you're going to hear. But anything ambient that's a constant noise, like the hum of an airplane, you're not going to hear anymore. And then the other big noticeable downside of noise cancelling headphones, especially active noise cancellation headphones, is the fact that the audio quality is going to be degraded just a little bit. It's not the end of the world, but you can definitely notice a difference when you're using active noise cancellation versus a pair of headphones that is not using active noise cancellation. So as I mentioned, my favorites are the Bose QC35, but we have reviewed a few other options over on our website, yourtechexplained.com. I'll leave a link down below to all of our headphone reviews so you can check some of them out. 
Now, if you're interested in learning more about the tech around you, we also have a bunch of explained articles like this that go over a wide variety of topics, and we have more videos just like this coming up soon. So be sure to subscribe to the channel if you want to see those. Also, if you have a friend or just someone you know who wants to know how noise canceling headphones work or you just find this video interesting and you want to share it with them, be sure to share it on social media or give it a like and let us know that you enjoyed it. Also, be sure to leave a comment down below and let us know if there's a specific topic you want us to cover in an explained video like this. So as always, a huge thank you for watching. Again, be sure to subscribe if you want to see more like this and we'll catch you in the next one.